Hello everyone. Now we are going to see about the examples of some of the electronic configurations. Let us see. If we take an example of sodium. Now sodium is having atomic number 11. It is having atomic number 11, that means it has only 11 electrons. So these electrons can arrange according to the rules, which are according to the rules, which are the Aubau principle, Pauli's exclusion rule and Hertz rule of maximum multiplicity. How it can be possible? Let us see. Now according to the Aubau principle, we know the first part is nothing but a 1s. Now capacity of s subshell is nothing but only 2 electrons. So it is having 2 electrons. After 1s it is having 2s. So 2s. S is having capacity of again 2 electron. According to Aubau, just remember the Aubau pyramid. After 2s we are having 2 P and what is the capacity of P? As we know, the P subshell is having three orbitals. Each orbital should contain two electrons each. That means P subshell supposed to have maximum only six electrons. So six will be here. Now, how many electrons we have arranged over here? Two from 1s, two from 2s, and six from 2p. That means six plus two, eight, eight plus two, ten. That means out of 11, we have arranged 10 electrons. So still one electron is remaining. So after 2p, what was there in Aubau pyramid? Yes, it is. It is 3s. And how many electrons are remaining? 1. Though the capacity of s subshell is 2, but only one electron is remaining. So we can put only one electron over here. So, how many total electrons are there? 11. That means 11 electrons of sodium we have arranged according to the electronic configuration. The same thing we can make by a very fundamental part. We have written here a 1. That means this is the first shell. So, first shell containing how many electrons? 2. So, this is nothing but a 2. Now, here we have written a 2. And 2, number 2, that means shell number 2. So how many electrons are present in shell number 2? 6, 6 plus 2, 8. So there are 8 electrons. And in case of third shell, this is 3, that means third shell. How many electrons are present at third shell? Only 1. So what is the electronic configuration? 2, 8, 1. It is a very simpler way to know the electronic configuration and this is what the exact form of the electronic configuration according to the rules that we already have studied. So this is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1 is the electronic configuration of sodium. Let us we take an example of the another one. If we take an example of manganese Manganese is having atomic number 25. So for this 25, what will be the electronic configuration? According to Aubau that we already have studied, the first one is 1s. S is having capacity only 2 electrons. Second one, 2s. S is having capacity only 2 electrons. 2p. P is having capacity of 6 electrons. After 2p, 3s, s is having capacity of 2 electrons. How many electrons still we have finished with the filling? 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12. That means out of 25, we have arranged 12 electrons. How many are remaining? Definitely, 13 electrons are remaining. So after 3s, what is next? 3p, capacity of p is 6. After 3p, what is next? 4s, capacity of s, 2. So how many electrons are over now? 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 6, 
18 and 18 plus 2 20 that means out of 25 electrons of manganese so far we have arranged a 20 electrons so how many electrons are remaining now only 5 so what is the next after 4s there is 3d now here it is a introduction of d subshell how many orbitals are there in d subshell one orbital contains two electrons that means d subshell's capacity is around 10 electrons but how many electrons are there only five so we can put it only a five electron here now let us we take another example of oxygen oxygen is having atomic number eight that means how many electrons are present in oxygen only eight so according to the Aubau's pyramid what it is 1s, 2, 2s, 2, 2p. How many electrons are there? 8. How many electrons we have arranged? 2 plus 2, 4. That means how many are remaining? Only 4 electrons are remaining. And what is the capacity of p subshell? 6. Though it has a capacity of 6 subshell, but still, how many electrons are remaining? Only 4. So we can put here only a 4. So this is the electronic configuration of oxygen. Let us we take an example of another one that is argon. Now argon is having atomic number 18. So how can we go for it? Next one. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p. How many are there? Just count it first. 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 2, 12. How many are remaining? Only 6. And what is the capacity of P subshell? Obviously, it is 6, so we can put it here as 6 electrons. So, this is the electronic configuration of argon. Like that, we can use these parameters, we can use these rules. That means, Aubau principle. Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity and Pauli's exclusion rule to know the electronic configuration of any element which is present in this world. Now, but this is the more conventional method to know the electronic configuration. But there is another one technique for electronic configuration called as condensed electronic configuration now what is this condensed electronic configuration in case of condensed electronic configuration there is no need to follow such a conventional part by using Aubau. we are having some kind of the shortcuts which are those shortcuts we know that is inert gases which are present at the last group of the periodic table. You know which are they? No? Yes, you know which are they. Which are they? Helium, Neon, Argon, Krypton, Xenon, Radon and un un -octium. What is the atomic number for this element? Atomic number for helium is 2 for neon, 10, argon, 18, krypton, 36, xenon, 54, radon, 86, and un un octium is 118. So, this is just a mnemonic that we can use for the condensed electronic configuration. How come? Let us we see. By using this mnemonic, just consider the sodium once again. Sodium is having atomic number 11. At the previous time, we were using a conventional method to know the electronic configuration. But just by using this mnemonic, how is it? Look at this. This is having atomic number 11. So before 11, which is the nearest inert gas element? Look at here. Which is near 11? 10. 10 is near to 11 that means neon so we can put it here neon in a square bracket whenever we are putting any noble gas or inert gas in this square bracket 
it is called as inert drawer. That means we are making a neon inert drawer over here. So after neon inert drawer, what is the atomic number of neon? Obviously it is 10. That means out of 11, we have made an electronic configuration of 10. It is finished. So how many are remaining? Only one. That's it. So what it is? It is only 3s1. Finish. The same we can use it for oxygen. Oxygen is having atomic number 8. Previously we were taking 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Now according to condense, which is the nearest number to 8? That is 2. So we can make a helium inert core. That means 2. How many are remaining? 6. So we can put it here. 2s2, 2p4. That means 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8. That's it. Finish. That means we can make an electronic configuration of any element by a conventional method or by a smart method. That is called as condensed electronic configuration. So we can use any method and just use it for any electronic configuration. Thank you.